I still believe the boy is guilty of murder. I'll tell you why. To me, the most damning evidence was given by the woman across the street who claimed she actually saw the murder committed. That's right. As far as I'm concerned, that's the most important testimony. All right. Let's go over her testimony. What exactly did she say? I believe I can recount it accurately. She said she went to bed at about 11 o'clock that night. Her bed was next to the open window, and she could look out the window while lying down and see directly into the window across the street. She tossed and turned for over an hour, unable to fall asleep. Finally, she got up at about 12.10, and as she looked out the window, she saw the boy stab his father. As far as I can see, this is an unshakable testimony. That's what I mean. That's the whole case. Frankly, in view of this, I don't see how you can vote for acquittal. What do you think? Well, maybe there's so much evidence to sift. What do you mean, maybe? She's absolutely right. You can throw out all the other evidence. That was my feeling. I don't deny the validity of the points he has made. You should always say that on one side of the tracks, there is doubt, but what can you say about the story of the woman? She saw it? What time is it? About 20 minutes to 6. You don't suppose they'd let us go home early and finish this in the morning? I've got a cake with mumps. Not a chance. Can't you see the clock without your glasses? Not clearly. Oh. Glasses are a nuisance, aren't they? What do y'all do when you wake up at night and want to know what time it is? I put on my glasses and look at the clock. I just lie there and wait for my clock to chime. My father gave it to me. When I got married, my husband and I, it was ten years before we had a place to put it. Do you wear your glasses to bed? Of course not. Nobody wears eyeglasses to bed. The woman who testified, she wears glasses. What about her? Did she wear glasses? Of course. The woman wore bifocals. I remember this very clearly. They looked quite strong. That's right, bifocals. She never took them off. Funny. I never thought of that. I think it's logical to say that she was not wearing her glasses to bed. And I don't think she put them on and glanced casually out the window. She testified the murder took place the instant she looked out. And the lights went out a split second later. She couldn't have had time to put them on then. Now, perhaps this woman really did think she saw the boy kill his father. I say she only saw a blur. How do you know what she saw? Maybe she's farsighted. How does he know all these things? Is there still anybody here that does not think there's a reasonable doubt? I've always wondered if there is a reasonable doubt. I think he's guilty. Does anyone else? No. I'm convinced there is a reasonable doubt. You're alone. Eleven not guilty, one guilty. I don't care whether I'm alone or not. I have a right. Yes, you have a right. Well, I told you. I think he's guilty. What else do you want? The arguments. I gave you my arguments. We're not convinced. We want to hear them again. We have time. What's the matter with you? You made all, all the arguments. We can't turn now. That guilty man's walking the streets. A murderer! I have to die. Stay with me. I'm sorry. I'm convinced. I don't think I'm wrong often, but I guess I was this once. There is a reasonable doubt in my mind. We're waiting. You're not going to intimidate me. I'm tell it's my opinion. It's going to be a hung jury. That's it. Well, there's nothing we can do about that. So to hope that one night, Maybe in a few months, why? You might get some sleep. You are all alone. It takes a great deal of courage to stand alone. If it is a hung jury, there will be another trial, and some of us will point these things out to the various lawyers.
Not guilty. 